It's really just um, unimaginable of what you can uh, develop here in Greenville, you know. Dick Riley, Harry Chapman, and myself, um, we would ride to Columbia together and drive back on Thursday, down on Tuesday, come back on Thursday normally. And uh, we talked about this, and we would talk uh, and said we're, we're, we're a poor state, but if we can get our hands on any financial resources, we need to invest them into public education. And we did that. Uh, I passed the Education Improvement Act under Governor Jim Edwards. We delivered the goods um, as we, literally we realized at the time that, that we would have a good part of uh, that, that to before us, you know. You see, all of this is uh, amazing. These are apartments that, uh, and businesses that have established in over a period of a few months, you know. The Greenville News was located in this particular square block, mm -hmm. and it's all coming down now. That's uh, that's going to be um, a development by um, David Glenn, and this is this is all the green. What the Greenville News is uh, is today. Tommy White was instrumental in bringing this, getting this building um, built up so that they could um, a bank could move in there. And this, otherwise, there was nothing going on down in this way, in this area of, of Greenville. You re might recognize this. This is the bridge, and all that's Main Street. You know, on the other side, the bridge on the other side um, is, is where we would walk from my home to Greenville High School, and uh, we would uh, be uh, jestfully speaking about what color it was going to be on Monday because so many of the textile plants were dumping into the Rita River. And when the city brought a French architect in to look at the city, and, and the, his, his first comment was, you're fortunate to have a, a river to be running through your city. And my first thoughts were, the Rita River? Come on, you know. And, and look what it has done for the downtown Greenville area you now. All of this has happened. I think probably uh, it, in Greenville, the, uh, the project of um, establishing um, the downtown area and, and also um, bringing the governor's school here um, was something that uh, I, I thought we needed to have in Greenville because we were uh, sort of the culture part of the state even though Charleston had all of that uh, historic background. It's just a miracle of really that how what's happened in Greenville. All of this was uh, blighted property at one time. They, there were some textile businesses that were in these uh, brick buildings back here. I think um, I consider your biggest accomplishment to be that you were awarded with the best dressed in high school. <laughs> yeah, well, they, they call it the most stylish. Oh, okay. Uh, that's because I wore a necktie uh, one day. <laughs> when this was proposed, the West End by Mayor Knox White and the City Council, there was a, a great deal of doubt because we had a stadium uh, over on Malden Road uh, with, with adequate parking and so forth. But the idea was absolutely genius because it brought about the total development of the west end of uh, the city of Greenville. All of this is being 
uh, developed in the last uh, five years since um, the Greenville Drive started. And as you, you can tell by the cranes, one block to the other, it, it, uh, it worked. I think in 1935, um, about 25 families purchased a two-story frame house. During World War II, 1942, so that uh, two-story house was demolished and a brick building was uh, developed. St. George Church, as well as a uh, recreation center. Uh, and in 1995, it was demolished and now the, the, the St. George Cathedral was built as well as the Recreation Hellenic Center. We just finished this um, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, the, the four uh, apostles, and then all of the uh, prophets uh, at the top there, from Moses all around. You know. My hopes for Greenville have exceeded anything that I would, would have imagined. We have surpassed all of the other southern cities in such a way on a proportionate basis that uh, Greenville is now the pearl of the south. We're very fortunate to be in a position that Greenville County can offer its assets and attributes to so many people and uh, have helped the state of South Carolina grow into the beautiful Palmetto State that it is today.